body to turn it into blood on pieces. How highly evident and act like everything's fine. I take your body to turn it into blood on pieces. How highly evident and act like everything's fine. Welcome back, YouTube, and to a brand new month here on Nimrod Horror TV. I know it's already past the midway point of, of February, but welcome to Tortured and, and Terrified Month. Um, and today, we'll be looking at the oldest film that I've reviewed here so far. This one's from 1963, and it's called Terrified. Since we're doing, doing my first black and white film, let's turn this black and white. So, Terrified has been sometimes called called an early slasher. To me, it's it's not. Um, it does have some elements to it, but overall, it is not not a slasher. Um, there there's some key key things missing, um, but I will say. This film starts off pretty cool. It uh, drags you in instantly. Uh, it starts with this, with this guy, guy wearing a, a ski mask, ski mask, uh, burying this, this, this uh, man alive. Now the man burying him is just laughing. So I thought, oh, that's that's pretty cool for especially back in 1963. The the story is. So you, I guess you could say it's a group of three people. Really, just kind of like this one girl and kind of a weird love love triangle, kind of. Uh, this, like, one guy likes her, but she is, likes him as a friend. And her boyfriend kind of seems like a little bit, a bit of an iffy character. And he seems like he possibly could be the one that's kind of killing people or... Uh, terrorizing people because this film becomes kind of a whodunit and and this girl's boyfriend for his college report is is like you know understanding what terrorizes people why do people feel you know terror and scared what is this emotion so that makes him suspect number one. So see, this this film is kind of like Scream, but in that, that respect that the boyfriend's almost suspect number one. They're burning me! They're burning you down! They're burning you down! So yeah, so basically, this like man, man that's terrorizing people, brings him to this abandoned ghost town, which is kind of a cool city. Um, but at sometimes it kind of draws me away because it looks like a western film, but it's not. Um, so it's kind of a cool city. It has that atmosphere of this western movie with this like killer stalking, stalking these people. Um, there isn't too much killing because, because the main, um, antagonist really likes terrorizing people and, and then he kills them. 
And then there's this weird character that the uh, the main girl's uh, brother apparently was locked in a, a loony bin for like 10 years and then didn't escape, so that adds another layer. And it has kind of a twist uh, ending, which, which uh, that kind of twist was relatively unique at that time, and it works pretty well for this film. You're still afraid, aren't you? just feel that something's closing in. You begin to see there's no sense in struggling because you don't even know what you're struggling against. So you just wait. They never found out anything about your father, did they? Nothing. They uh, never found anybody who, who even had a motive for killing him, did they? He didn't even have any enemies. Nobody disliked him. He, was just, a, just a very nice, ordinary man. He was killed in the back of the science building. I remember. Were, uh, were Ken and Joey in college then? Their first year. We're not trying to connect. I'm not it. trying to connect anybody with anything. I'm just talking. It has a really great direction. I mean, it's uh, it is directed very well. The casting's really good. Um. You know, the uh, acting's, you know, 1960s horror um, acting. So there's some, like, cheesy acting parts, but still, it's, it, it's it's done very well. I actually really like the music to this also. It's really good. Um, the the storyline's really solid. I almost want to see them not make a remake, but kind of make a sequel and just film it now. Um, I know it would be ridiculous to make a sequel on kind of a drive-in movie back in 1963, but, but there's an audience for it. And um, with that being said, I will um, I'll give this a pretty good must-watch 8. Out of ten, terrorize people. Joy? You down there? Yeah, that's me. Hey, let me talk to you. I came to see you at the hospital, but you didn't even know me. I don't know, know you, man. I don't know who you are. Who are you? Joy? My name's Joey, yeah. Duh. Anyway, I'll deal with this guy. I'll see you guys next time as uh, Tortured and Terrified continues.